Lads, I'm going to be completely honest, all right? Um, I kind of recorded like a 40 minute, it was like 40 minutes worth of recording. Um, I recorded a Kareem Benzema review, lads, and he was absolutely class. I had it recorded. I, was a, I went to edit it. And I realized I had the, I had it on too high of a resolution, so it was all choppy. This is take two, lads. Usually we play two or three games to review. We're only going to play one today because I've already played two games with Benzema. Hopefully you guys do understand. But what I can tell you guys, for, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys how he got on in, a, in my like an hour ago, my first review. And then I'll obviously play a game and, and see what he can do for you guys today as well. Um, now, we did play a game. We did play two games with him. And first game, it was, we're 1-0 down at halftime. And I said one thing, I said that his medium attacking work rates were a little bit underwhelming because he wasn't making the runs. And then in the second half, he popped off and he got three goals and one assist. He got a penalty, he won the penalty, he scored a penalty. The next one, he had the ball passed to him, he was in the box and he tapped it in with his left foot. And the third one, um, it was just an across goal, he made that run. Got, got a pass to him, and it was a cross goal, just a normal goal. And then he did get an assist near the end as well, which was a nice through ball. And then in the second game, he scored one goal, and he was once again just poaching in the box and tapped it in. So we've really played two games with him, and he's gotten four goals and one assist. So we're going to play another one. But lads, if you are new as well, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. So Kareem Benzema currently coming in at around 18,000 coins on the PS4, around 20,000 on the Xbox. He's six foot one. His medium, medium work rates, which as I said before, I really wish he was high medium what i really did like about him though is the four star four star was absolutely class and as for the attributes we've gone for a hunter i'm actually going to go ahead and buy a center four to strike it so he can get to full chem uh so I, I i thought i did that before but obviously not we can just afford one uh, actually this is my road to glory as well if you guys don't know this is my road to glory i brought 10 hours on a, on my second account just for player reviews i haven't even brought a full game on this account so we're literally just gonna get some player reviews out for the lads but anyways with a hunter he goes to 86 pace in game Plus 10 acceleration, so he goes to 87 acceleration and 85 sprint speed. He gets some really nice shooting boosts as well. He goes from 90 attacking positioning to 95. He goes from 90 finishing to 99. Plus 5 shot power as well, so 90 shot power, 99 volleys, and 94 penalties. As for, for his passing, it's not too bad at all. His long passing is not great, but his short passing is really, really nice. And the dribbling, the 79 agility and 72 balance is a little bit of a letdown, but he's got some great reactions great ball control and obviously some great composure to make up for it 89 heating accuracy isn't too bad 78 stamina not ideal but as for the player traits lads he's got the leadership and team player which do nothing in game but i'll show you guys or tell you guys what does do something in game and that's a finesse shot and the outside of a foot shot tray lads we're playing him in a 4 3 2 1 i'm absolutely in love with his formation and we are just playing him um, on stay central and get him behind he's a type of striker that you can play on get him behind but he'd also be a really good target man because he's obviously got that amazing shooting and he's not the fastest and most agile let's hop into the game boys and i'll just show you guys what he's about but going off of in, in my first two games that i played earlier with him what i can tell you is i feel like the the heavier strikers erling Haaland, kareem benzema even louis suarez who, who will get a review out on next are actually much more usable this year i'm going to tell you one thing now lads benzema's shooting was absolutely phenomenal and i'm gutted i lost all the footage because he did really really good putting up five goals assist in the two games but let's get into game number three with him um and obviously the first of this uh this retake really nice team tiago silver in there um i mean tiago silver's got like 50 pace i'm not worried about him let's let's see what he can do boys all right getting us kicked off now i can also uh tell you guys now the 79 agility and 72 balance it's not ideal, and you can notice it. He's six foot one, a relatively heavy body type, mm, like a balance of 72. He's obviously not going to be an agile meta dude like Mbappe or like Ben Yedda. But As I said before, I feel like this year, I feel like the heavier players are going to be much more usable. Go on, get into Benzema. Exhibit A, can we get it on the finesse? Hey, three minutes in, once again, he is challenging the keeper. We absolutely love that. It was his weak foot, and from the head, oh, can't quite get that header in. Good football. Kareem Benzema. Kareem Benzema. Six minutes it takes for him to get on the score sheet. What a run. What a touch. And what a shot. I absolutely love his card, boys. I I, I just love his card. I, I really love him. On Benzema. Hey, he, oh, he actually holds up really nice. We're going to see Daikone through here. Daikone. I don't know why it took him so long to charge that shot up, man. Benzema should really have an assist. He did get tackled, but with the strength that he does have, I mean, he doesn't even have crazy strength. He's got 82 strength. Um, but what I can tell you guys, 
even though 82 strength isn't an insane amount, once he's six foot one, we're going to concede from this as well. We're not, man. At least go. Finally, some luck our way. But no, once he feels six foot one, or once he feels six foot one, once he is six foot one, and although he doesn't have crazy strength, exhibit A, he feels much stronger than he actually is. He's so good i i i love this card he he is so good man he is so so good the drag from foot to foot into the body faint around the keeper into the weak foot for this shot baby come on oh my god he wins it back as well all right we're gonna finish that just you you, you just can't stop him you cannot stop him that's what seven goals and one assist in three games now boys I, I really wish I still had all of the footage. Well, I have the footage. It's just like fucking five frames. Oh, Ben's move interception. Oh, see, now that's with the agility, like, you know, turning on the ball. Not the smoothest of air. Love that. Go on, Ben's move. Make that run. He's got that touch. Oh, can he? Go on. That's on side, I think, as well. That is on side. Oh, man. Uh, if I kind of had a weak foot, bro. If he had a weak foot, that should be an assist for Benzema. Him a great touch. Come on, this time. Hey, nah, we'll, we'll just play it off, boys. You know what? We'll take the semi assist for Benzema. He didn't quite get an assist, but hey, a, a pre assist, I think it's called, right? I, I mean, my suck has just fallen over, but like. I, I, this is, he's so good. He's so good, man. Right, go on, boys. You know what? Let's go attack. And let's get one more for the boys, man. One more for the boys. Benzema. He's dropped back. He takes a touch. Oh, he's so close. Oh, you know what? We'll just have to take a 5-3 win. My opponent next year, maybe he's passed the control to his older brother because the second half was a lot harder than the first. But Kadeem Benzema with four goals, lads. Four goals. And remember, as I said, we played two games with him before. And it turns out my uh, my Elgato was glitching and was on like five frames per second. But he's got he got four goals and one assist um, in that game. Uh, in those two games, I should say. Now, three games played with Benzema, lads. And uh, did he get an assist this game? Hold on, let's have a look. Did he end up getting an assist this game? Let's go up to Benzema. Uh, where is he? So he got a 10 out of 10, four goals. He did not get an assist, but... He did have four goals. Uh, he had a shot accuracy of 100%, a pass accuracy of 83%, 29 passes um, completed, I'm pretty sure that is. He's had 32 dribbles, a dribble success rate of 81%. What a card, man. What a card. It's eight goals and one assist in three games. Nine goal contributions in three games for Kadeem the Dream. What a card. At least hop over. To the overview with this Benzema card lads now obviously in the first two games I played I really really did like him I really really did like him then um and as I said in the intro the 79 agility and 74 balance it is noticeable lads all right I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys it is noticeable but I also said in the intro I feel like you can get away with using bigger players this year and I feel like I've just shown it here with Kareem Benzema Three games played, as I said just before, eight goals and one assist, which is just simply magical, man. Simply, simply insane. His finesse shots are phenomenal. His out, his outside of foot shot trait and his finesse shot trait are just absolutely class. So for the pros, as you can see, it is going to be his shooting. Um, it is going to be his dribbling. And by dribbling, I do not mean his 79 agility and 72 balance, obviously. Um, but I do mean his like actual reactions. I think he's got 91 reactions and his actual like in-game dribbling of 87 really really nice um as well i really do like his 89 hitting accuracy although uh he had a few attempts with hitters in my first review that like i said default got corrupted um he, he had a few attempts with hitters he didn't score a hitter but he was actually solid in the air being six foot one as well comes with his pros and cons first of all i'm going to put his height under a pro because six foot one Although he's only got 82 strength, as I said before, he feels much stronger just because of his body type. Now, heading on over to the cons, lads, it's going to be a 79 agility and 72 balance. Really, really unfortunate. Um, as well, his, what's it called, his his medium attacking work rates. 
uh, it's close to a con but it didn't worry me too much to have to put it in a in a con like it didn't really affect too much in game but you can obviously know that he like if he had high attacking work rates he'd be absolutely unreal and as with a pace um i feel like you definitely got to get a hunter on him for that plus 10 pace you could make a debate for an engine to get the plus 10 balance and plus 5 agility but still you'd want a little bit more than 81 pace so i feel like a hunter is definitely the way to go Overall rating out of 10, boys. We've done a Griezmann, uh, Griezmann review. We've done an Inform Ivan Tony. We've done a Zhao Felix, and we've done a Kimpembe. The highest rating I've given yet, I'm pretty sure, is an 8.6 to Griezmann. And for me, Benzema just tops him off. Um, literally, the only thing Griezmann is better at in game, personally, uh, I reckon, in Benzema, um, is Griezmann feels a lot better and a lot more responsive on the ball. But everything else, man, Benzema, I got to give him a big 9, man. I got to give him a 9 out of 10. This card was unstoppable his shooting is absolutely next level he's got the stocky body type which yes turning on a ball is not always great but just like he's a classic oh, solid target man that's what i mean he's just a very very good card lads hope you guys did enjoy this review i highly recommend picking him up for only seventeen thousand coins as well how can you say no it's been your boy davis lads and until next time peace out boys